Uh, Seton Hall at five and a half to one right now uh, to win the whole tournament. I'm probably actually, I'm going to bet it right now. What's going on, guys? Seton Hall, five and a half to one, cash that. Also took advantage of that bonus bet, 250 bucks. FanDuel throws me those like every two to three weeks. So I uh, threw that on Seton Hall as well. I was happy to cash that one. I'll tell you what, though. With what, a minute left, 90 seconds left, it was not looking so great. Indiana State, just like they closed out the first half, looked like they were going to close out the entire game with a huge run, some three-pointers, and everything looked in jeopardy. Uh, Luckily, the better team did come through in cash, but there's a reason why Seton Hall did not make the plays as a straight bet for members. Gave out Seton Hall alternative spread plus seven and a half. We went ahead and paired that. Uh, with the Kansas City Royals today, an easy, easy sweat-free game. Uh, and that was a nice, like, plus 100, maybe plus one, uh, 105 wager, depending on when you got that. Um, so that was nice. We come up short with our other one. It was a small slate today. We only had so many games in baseball. Uh, two of those games were with the Mets, doubleheader, daytime baseball, some sloppy NBA games. It was a small, small slate, only two plays. Guardians came through. But unfortunately, the, Spl- the Splash Brothers, uh, they turned back the clock. About 60 points combined today. The Warriors just kept their foot on the gas pedal. I just was waiting for the Rockets to pick up the slack and cover this plus nine and a half uh, back door. But man, even at home with their whole season on the line, a giant important game against a very aged Warriors team with all the public money on the Warriors with reverse line movement and plus nine and a half alternative spread comes up short for the Rockets. So one and two uh, in that particular parlay went with two of the parlays today, just based on line value and, and then just a weird voodoo-y kind of an odd small slate type of Thursday. Uh, so we went one and one today, didn't lose a penny, didn't gain any ground as well, uh, but we move on. We've been killing it this week. Let me go ahead and actually add this to the screen. I haven't put this on yet. You guys can see the numbers. It's been a fabulous, fabulous start to the month Um, and really start ever since last Sunday when we cashed on NC State, a three-unit play on them uh, for members. So looking to get it going here for the Final Four, and that's exactly what I'm going to talk about in today's video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and drop a like on the video. I got some good plays here. Um, I'm going to give you one in each game. Of course, if you want my best bets in both of these final four games, uh, big, big MLB slate today as well. So if you're seeing this in the morning hours, go ahead and head over to the website, grab a premium package. Uh, even if you just want to grab a week of my picks for 30 bucks, um, as long as you get in by like one or two o'clock in the afternoon, I'll send a text out to members probably around two, two 30 today, Eastern time. So if you're seeing this anytime before, you know, two, three in the afternoon, Uh, Go ahead and grab a package. I'll get the picks to you for today's baseball. There is going to be a lot of them, a lot of NBA as well. I mean, yesterday, Thursday was just an ugly day. Friday looks just like a wonderful slate, some awesome opportunities. Let's go ahead and dig into this Final Four, though, because there are some good plays here. Now, there is a really good play, a five-unit play that I will be dropping for members on this game. But there's some other ones that people just – this is crazy to me. And – um. I, I, I'm not I'm not really getting how people are, are are not seeing this. But anyway, let's go over it. Let me bring up the numbers right now just so they're in real time. Uh, by the way, real quick, just forgot to mention my SoBet link also in the description below for $10 a month. You can get access to 60 professionals and see what everybody's doing uh, for an entire month for 10 bucks. So if you're looking for a little bit more cost-effective way to get into professional opinions in this industry, maybe check out SoBet. Uh, my TikTok link is also in the description as well. Nothing but free plays on TikTok. You don't have to spend a penny over there to get my opinion. But let's go ahead and start with this NC State-Purdue game here. And I'm going to go into team props right now. Let me refresh this. Okay, so it moved a little bit. Um, i got to write this down. So with this NC State-Purdue game, I really like this play. I'm going to go with the first half spread. Uh, NC State getting five and a half points for just the first half. There's a very good chance that in this game, Purdue settles in. And, uh, you know, overall with ED and everybody in there for Purdue, that they wear down this NC State team. Maybe some of the NC State players finally foul out and Purdue can further their lead. Who knows? I I think the spread is accurate. I think in that eight, nine, 10 point range, you know, anything's fair game. Maybe you get a backdoor cover from NC State. Maybe NC State's in the game the whole time. Maybe Purdue pulls away at the end. I'm not really sure, but first half 
before foul trouble can really, really get too, too bad, before anything happens at the end of the game, before the players can get acclimated with that weird court playing in a football environment, before anything gets too out of control, I think getting five and a half team, five and a half points, sorry, uh, with the team that is going to be playing with house money should be more loose, more relaxed playing freely. Uh, I like the defense of NC state. They have a little bit better pace. Maybe they can get out and run. I think b- before Purdue can make adjustments before Purdue kind of settles in and their shooters start to catch fire before the Zach Eady effect really starts to, you know, gain a foothold. I think we're getting five and a half points um, with NC state in the first half. I'm going to take the five and a half with NC state. I don't love I'm not necessarily over and overly in love with NC State to cover the entire game because I fear, you know, what happens if Diara or or DJ Burns foul out, you know, midway through that second half? What happens if those three point shooters for Purdue finally get locked in and they get used to the court and they start to knock down those shots? Does the Purdue lead stretch? I think there's at least an opportunity for that. So I'm going to go with NC State to cover the spread, but in the first half. That's what I like for the first game. And for the second game, I know this sounds like a weird wager, and I've never given out one of these before, but this is just, it just makes total sense to me. And I think there's a lot of value on this pick. Now, this is a risky one. Okay. My non risky, my much higher percentage best bets, those go out to members. You guys got to pay to get the best stuff. But I see a crazy play on here. And just based on the odds, I will be taking this myself. Um, So just to let you know, I do have skin in the game on this play. The race to five points, I'm going with Alabama. I'm going with the team that should come into this game with a full head of steam, a team that plays with more pace. You kind of slower, more methodical, a a well-oiled machine, all that stuff. Okay, I expect you kind of settle in and take over at some point in the game. But you, uh, uh, Alabama, they don't want to start the game. They they started against Clemson. That was a very, very fortunate game for Clemson just to kind of go cold and blow the game, uh, basically give up the full. I mean, Clemson dominated, what, 17 of 20 minutes in the first half and then gave the entire game away. I don't think Alabama wants to do that here. In fact, they can't do that here. If Alabama gets in a hole early, if they even go down seven points, six points, eight points early in this game. This game is over. It's done. It's over. Sign the paper. It's done. Alabama is going to come out. They're going to run and gun. Maybe they just pull up from three right off the bat and hit a couple. And it's plus 135. Alabama to get to five or more points before UConn at plus 135. I will take it. Um, It's the definition of a gamble. It's a tiny little bet for me, a tenth of a unit but to have a little fun in the beginning of the game. And I think the value is just way too high. Plus 135, I th- it should be closer to a pick em. Anything goes in these first couple of minutes. Both teams are going to be coming out. I think UConn might be a little bit tense. Um, and I just I, I just expect uh, sort of like that NC State game, I don't want any part of UConn gaining a foothold and gaining control in this game. I don't want any long-term bets with Alabama. We see... Every time when Danny Hurley gets a little bit of breathing room, he just continues to keep his foot on the neck of the opponent. So I don't want any part of Alabama uh, uh, deeper into the game. First couple minutes, see who can get to five points at plus 135. That's a pretty good payout, and I'm going to take a little sprinkle on it just for fun here. I'm going to give out uh, Alabama to score five or more points first. Uh, I think I think right now I'm looking to have four total picks in the final four combined for members, including one big one. So hop on there, grab the package, grab the plays today, grab the plays on Sunday. You can get them, uh, of course, the national championship best plays that I give out for Monday. A lot of stuff coming here, guys. And uh, as soon as we get into NBA playoffs, that'll get as exciting as well. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You guys know what to do. Links are in the description for everything. If you have any questions, let's leave some comments below. Let me know your favorite plays of today in the comments as well. What baseball picks do you like? Uh, always curious to hear your guys' opinions. So that being said, catch you guys in the next video.